Look at that. Let's create a custom particle type in Minecraft. More in-depth topics for Minecraft modding available in the 121 modding courses linked below, covering writable and tameable entities, custom entity armor, and even custom entity inventories, among many more awesome topics. All right, we're filling back to once more, and in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom particle type to our Minecraft mod. So last time, we have seen how to spawn particles via the server world. However, this time, oh, it's going to be a custom particle type all the way. In this case, it's going to be basically the same texture as our pink garnet right here. However, you can take whatever texture you want. This is just an example, but let's first of all start. So in our count do tutorial mode package, we're going to right click new package called particle, crazily enough. And in there, we need two new Java classes. The first one is the mod particles class. And the second one is going to be the pink garnet particle. There we go. We're going to start with the pink garnet particle. And like I said, this is just an example here in this case. So let's just see. This will extend from the sprite billboard particle class. We're going to hover over this to implement the get type method. Hover over this again, create constructor matching super. This is where we'll choose the second one. And here we wanted to change a couple of things in the constructor. First of all, we're going to make this public. And then we're going to change some of the parameters. So the parameters are going to be well, renamed. So you can click on this, press Shift F6 to rename it. And then this is going to be X. And then E is going to turn into Y. And then F is going to turn into Z or Z. Then we're going to make a line break and actually add another parameter, which is going to be the sprite sprite provider. I'm going to call this the sprite provider. Then G will be renamed to XD. XD. Nah, let's actually let's actually do X speed. That's better. That's a little bit more understandable. This is going to be Y speed. And can you imagine what this might be exactly? The Z or Z speed. There we go. That is a little bit of a better naming scheme. And then last time I already told you about the fact that some particles have some inherent parameters and inherent properties. And the idea is that you can basically change all of them inside of the constructor obviously you can see there's quite a few of them there's a on ground max age green you can change the ascending angle alpha so there's quite a few things that we can change let's say for example the velocity multiplier we can change that one we could in theory change the scale or the max age max age is quite interesting this is how long this particular particle will stay until it is until it decays so let's say for example we can say 40 ticks so it's going to stay in the world for two seconds and one thing is that's quite important to call here is the set sprite for age, where we're going to add the sprite provider right here. And there we go. We can also change the green, the red, green, and blue sort of mixture of this particular sprite in this case. So this would be the particle, right? If we want to make it more red, then we could, you know, decrease the blue over here to only be like 50%, things like that. So that would also work. Highly recommend as per usual. Play around with this. And also, of course, you can click on the Sprite Billboard Particle class, Control H, and you will be able to see all of the different classes that are actually taking, well, inspiration from this. So the Lava Ember Particles, you can take a look at those. You can see the Node Particles. Highly recommended to check out Vanilla. That is the best place for you to understand and to basically learn other things about in particular particles over here, but also about anything. In the get type method, we simply want to return a particle texture sheet and we want to use particle sheet translucent here in this case and we need a static class as well so inside of our pink garnet particle class i'm going to make a public static class i'm going to call this the factory this will implement the particle factory class over here there we go of type simple particle type because well in this case it's simply going to be a simple particle type we're going to add a private final sprite provider i'm going to call this here sprite provider that's gonna be fine First of all, we're going to hover over the class to implement the create particle method, and then we'll hover over the sprite provider to add constructor parameter. And that is basically the entire class done. The create particle now here, this is where we create our new pink corner particle. So here we're simply going to say new pink corner particle, passing in, first of all, the client world, which would be the world, then passing in x, y, and z, then passing in this touch sprite provider, and then passing in the velocity x the velocity y, and the velocity z or z. And with that, the entire class is done. As per usual, of course, all of this is also linked down below in the GitHub repository, so you can double check all of the code as well. And then we want to register this. To register this, first and foremost, we're going to have a public static void register particles method over here, where we're simply going to say tutorialmod.logger.info 
registering particles or plus tutorial mod tutorial mod dot mod id once again this is not strictly necessary you don't actually need to add the logger over here i just like to add it and then the actual method we can call in our tutorial mod constructor so mod particles dot register particles and there we go for the registration we're going to make a little bit of a helper method so this is going to be a private static simple particle type for this register particle register particle yep there we go with a string name parameter as well as a simple particle type and this is going to be the particle type awesome we're going to return the registry making sure we choose exactly net Minecraft registry very important do not choose java java rmi registry over here so registry dot register registries dot particle type identifier dot of tutorial mod dot mod id passing in the name and after the first closing parenthesis passing in the particle type and it is then as easy as simply saying this public static final simple particle type i'm going to call this the pink underscore garnet underscore particle there we go equal to the register particle method the name here very important pink garnet pink underscore garnet underscore particle and then here we're going to make the fabric particle types that simple and there we go if we use the simple without putting anything into it it's going to have an always false uh, an always spawn of false we could also add a boolean of true over here and then the always spawn will be true i believe this has to do with the with the option when you disable particles or you make decreased particles and if you have it true then they will still be shown but in this case we can do whatever we want we're just going to do a simple one and that's gonna be okay now having done this we're almost done but not quite because we need to still register our factory so this is going to be the factory that we've done over here you can see it's grayed out and it's not used anywhere because we still need to register this in the tutorial mod client class so this happens in the particle factory particle factory registry that get instance that register for mod particles dot pink garnet particle and then pink garnet particle dot factory colon colon new no error should be present and now everything is registered properly however i hear you say we have not defined how the pink garnet looks like exactly that happens in the assets folder so assets tutorial mode we want to make a new directory called and this is extremely important particles make sure it's particles with an s at the end and instead of here we need a json file named exactly the same as the name given right here so i'm simply going to copy the name over and we're going to make a new file inside of tutorial mode particles called pink underscore garnet underscore particle dot json and the contents of this are very straightforward it is simply a json file with a texture list over here pointing to tutorial mod colon pink underscore garnet now the texture that this points to is this is also very important under tutorial mod textures a new directory called particle notice that in textures it is called particle in tutorial mod it is called particles very important to double triple quadruple i don't even know quintuple check all of the spelling it is so easy to make a mistake over here I, I i that's all i can say if it doesn't work then double check the spelling everywhere that is very important and then inside of the particle directory we're simply going to add the pink underscore garnet png like i said this is literally the same as the texture of the item but you can use whatever texture you want you can make a new texture you can make custom textures whatever you so desire i also highly recommend you go down to the external libraries all the way to this would be under the merge right here yarn whatever the case may be and that is going to be under assets and then here we have the particle json files as you can see so this is under like i said minecraft particles and then under textures it is particle and here you have all of the particle well the textures that you basically might see inside of vanilla minecraft highly recommended to basically check this out as well for whoa, some inspiration and basically how that works as well vanilla is always one of the best places to look at but how did we now spawn this well the same way that we spawn the normal ones so let's first of all do the same thing in the chisel over here we're just going to take this flame over here and duplicate it instead of particle type flame we're going to do mod particles that pink got a particle i'm going to say maybe a one instead of a point or like 1.5 and maybe maybe a couple of fewer ones over here maybe eight of them and decrease the speed a little bit that is the way to once again spawn them with a server world but how about we spawn them not with a server world but just you know with a normal world well the way to do this is let's say in the magic block over here where we have the onuse method so this method gets called when we right click the magic block here we're going to say world.add particle and say mod particles.pink corner particle 
This is going to be at position get x plus 0.5. There you go. Position dot get y plus 1. And then we're going to say position dot get z or z plus 0.5 again. And then velocity is going to be 0, 1, 0. And you can see that the add particle method here is a little bit different from the spawn particles method. We still have an x, y, z coordinate. Absolutely. We also still need to do a 0.5 on both the x and the y uh, and the z to basically well move it into the middle of the block because x, y, and z would be the bottom right corner of the block and adding a 0.5 is going to center it. And then a 1 over here is going to put it exactly at the top of the block. And then here in the spawn particles, we have a count as well as the delta over here and then a speed versus here. We don't have a count. So this is going to spawn one particular particle in this case, and it's going to add the velocity uh, immediately with this vector, basically. So that is one of the big, well, changes or differences. So keep that in mind. But that is actually everything that we need to do. So let's jump into the game and see if it works. All right, friends, we're back in Minecraft. And let's just use the chisel over here. And you can see there they freaking are some of our particles that we have defined to spawn. They're absolutely awesome. And if I right click the magic block, look at this. How cool is that, right? It is such a small thing when you really think about it to add, but it can do absolute freaking wonders. So that is custom particle types added to your mod. Awesome. As per usual, all of the code is available to you down below, but that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll modify some vanilla loot tables. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.